What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the singleton design pattern. So let's talk about it. So sometimes you need to make sure that you only have one and only one instance of an object. This is where the singleton pattern can be useful. A singleton represents a single instance of an object. Only one can be created no matter how many times the object is instantiated. If there's already an instance, the singleton will create a new one. So we're going to be looking at an example at where creating multiple instances of a one object can create problems within our application. And at the end of the video, guys, I will tell you some examples, real life examples where you actually will probably more than likely will use a singleton for. But for now, we're going to we're going to just look at the problem. So let's go to our text editor right here. I mean, not this one, not this one. Inside of single did problem, we're going to go to uh, logger first of all. So right here, we created a class called logger, obviously. So the idea is that we want our application modules to use this logger class instead of using console log directly. This logger saves information about all the logs that are sent to it, and it also logs each message with a timestamp. So once we create an instance of this object, we can use a log method, send it a message, and it will log the timestamp and the message to the terminal, as well as save information about the log. And let's go to the store. Now in this one, we actually do use an instance of the logger class. So in line 10, we will be uh, logging out and uh, a message to the logger or to the terminal actually. So moving on to shopper, this one also uses an instance of a logger. And we will be logging out that a new shopper was created that had the name of it and the money that they're having in their account, which is fake money, obviously. Finally, let's go to the index where we also use logger and we're going to be logging out starting app and find down here, finishing app. And then we're going to get the logger count logs total, how many logs it, it went through the whole application. Cause we have right now we have one, two right here. We have, wait, let me go back. We have one right here two right here and then three, four, all right. Yeah. Four of uh, this one down here is going to map out the, uh, logger count, which over here, we store it all this. We're going to map the, the array and then just print out all the messages that we should have gotten or what do you, what we gotten. But before I actually run this code guys, I want you to leave a comment on how many logs you think this application will log right now. So let me go to index.js right now. So you can see what, what exactly we're, we're doing here. We also created an instance of our uh, shopper and store uh, class. So let's run it right now and see how many logs we get node index.js and we get two total logs, even though we should have had four. If you do take a look though, you do see that we do get starting app up here. We get our new shopper, our new store, and then finishing our config, but we only get two logs total. The reason why is because whenever we're looking at the current logger instance over here, we're only looking, I was trying to find it. I was down here. We're only looking at the instance that was created within our main application, not the instances that was created within the shopper and the store. So whenever we have this type of problem, a singleton can, can really, you know, be helpful. So let's actually try to fix that. The problem with singleton, um, I'm gonna control save this. I'm just going inside of singleton solution. So that way, uh, whenever you, if you ever decide to clone this, you have two of them, the problem, and then the solution to it, we're going to go inside logger right here is exactly the same right now for the problem as the problem. I mean, so down below, we're going to be creating a class called singleton. So down here, class called singleton, singleton, sorry, actually not right there. I'm going to go right here below this. We're going to create a class single. Ten. And we're going to be exporting the singleton instead of the logger. So singleton. So this one is going to be act this act. What, what am I saying? This class, <laughs> this class is only going to allow us to create one instance of the logger. Anytime we need the instance, we're going to retrieve it through a get instance method. So let's go ahead and build this thing. So inside constructor, we want to check and see if an instance has been created. So if uh, no singleton dot instance. 
was created, we would want to actually or save the instance directly to the class. So singleton dot instance is going to equal a new logger. Just like that. And then now we're going to grab our git instance or our git method um, down below this right here. We're going to get a git instance or a git instance. And we're going to just return single dot instance. Control save. So this class is, oh, what I do? This class singleton class will only allow us to instantiate one logger and then using the git instance method, we can return that logger to any file that we that wants to use it. So we're going to implement this inside of shopper right now. Let's see. So in here, we're going to just do dot get instance. So that way we get that instance. Get, oh, there it is. Get instance, just like that. And inside of store as well, dot get instance, control save. Inside of index, index, we're going to do a good dot get instance right here as well. Get instance, right, just like that. And the R method, so like this. I don't think I did that to the other ones. Let me do that right now. Control save and then store. Okay, let's go back to index. So now all three of these files should be using the exact same instance of the logger. And we're going to check that by actually going in here, getting out of singleton problem. So CD out and then go into the uh, solution one and then just do node index JS and we get four logs total. The new shopper coming from the shopper uh, file, the new store coming from the store file, and the starting at finishing config coming from the index file. So we do have now, now you see, we have four files total and it just feels great, doesn't it? And it shows us that all these four logs have been, have, have made it even though we're using the logger throughout multiple files. Now that I showed you how to use Singleton, I'm actually going to use, show you how to use it with Node.js. Even though, I mean, we are using with Node.js, obviously, but if you go back to Logger, we're doing it by class. Actually, we could just get rid of this class. I'm going to comment this out so that way we have it still. And by just exporting Logger right here, Logger, the module itself creates a Singleton. Uh, a singleton so every time we use it over here we just get rid of this just get rid of this right here and then just call in logger right here control save s since I, I, I lowercase this because we're using lowercase down here down here i'm going to say l for this one right here and then get rid of this or i should just comment this out oh sorry i'm gonna comment this out so that way you can know exactly what's going on, so that way you don't have to do it that many times, or you know what I'm talking about. And down here in store, I think we have another one. And put L. So every time we, uh, Node actually takes care of this for us. So now we could run it again one more time. Oh, logger, starting app. At index.js. That's because, did I save it? Yeah, I saved it. Sorry, over here in, in a, that, that's why I messed up. Logger right here, we have to actually make a new instance right here. New logger. Just like so. Now we actually run it and we get a damn error again. Let me see what's going on. Oh, we didn't get an error. I was, I was looking up here. I was like, what? We shouldn't have to get on error. Well, we have it, we have it right here. Sorry, guys. Um, see, we still get four logs total. That's because we just created a new logger right here, a new logger instance, and we're just using this new instance, this actual one instance throughout all the other files. I just wanted to show you quickly how to do it with Node.js, but that class is for like uh, object-oriented programs, Java, C++, and all those. So some places you would use uh, singletons are when you're logging slash registries, um, caches, thread pools, and driver objects. Um, those are some examples, and I'm pretty sure those are the major uh, major examples you would use um, singletons. Just like this, like this logger we created right here, I'll, even though this is a pretty simple one, but logging, logging stuff into files, this is how you would do it, and this is where you would want to use a singleton. 
just some example guys on what are you singletons and and that is it for this video um so if you have any questions just leave a comment down below i would more more than glad to answer any of the questions that you have please if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing um like it if you learned something new and you know obviously these examples are uh, opinion this this is a um convert conversational topic uh you can use singletons wherever you want it's just where to use them i mean the best places to use them where would it be and for my opinion anyways my opinion would be logger logging driver objects caching and thread pools um you know database connections those are the places where i would use singletons um but like i said a lot of people have different uh different scenarios on when you would want to use them so to leave a comment down below where would you use a singleton uh pattern design in your web development projects but that is it guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video thanks